Hi guys, Tom Morrison here and I want to give you some tips if you are currently experiencing a groin strain or some sort of adductor issue. It's something you want to spend time on um, a few times a day to actually get any results from it and to make sure it doesn't happen again. So that's one of the most common things you'll ever see is someone will hurt their groin or whatever and their hamstring even and um, like six months down the road it'll happen again, exact same leg and they go through the exact same problems or even worse that second time. So it's something that you want to make sure that you're working on. So first thing you're going to work on is the deep lunge which you know I love which is from here. You'll probably find this fine feels quite tight as it is. If it does, just hang out wherever you can feel a bit of a stretch, okay? So if you're getting serious pain whenever you're down about here, hang out about here, okay? So you don't wanna like force anything or really aggravate anything. Just hang out where you can and where you feel like you're getting a bit of a stretch. So you're gonna hang around here for about 10 reps and just go up and down like this until you're starting to get that little bit lower each time. Then from there, you're going to sit yourself like this on the other knee, leg straight, and just rock yourself forwards and backwards 10 times as well. Again, trying to get that bit of a stretch in here. After you've done this forward and backwards 10 times, you're then going to focus on driving your leg into the ground like this and holding for 10 seconds, and then trying to lift it off and hold it for 10 seconds. So drive it into the ground for 10 seconds, Make yourself shake, make everything feel good in here, and then lift it off, and then down. So this really starts to put strength back into it as well. It's not just enough to stretch something, you have to strengthen it too, and then lift again. After doing that, that's something you wanna work up to as a long-term goal would be a Cossack squat. So this would be the position for a Cossack, so try and see if that's okay first. So if you rock yourself back, drive your heel into the ground, so then same idea, lift it up here, drive your heel into the ground, lift it up here, 10 seconds of each for 10 times. Then check and see, can you actually go into that Cossack position from there and just hold that position, okay? And then you can go up and down 10 times like that as well. And just hold that stretch, but also strengthen at the same time. So up and down 10 times. So 10 times here, open up the leg, rotate, see how low you can get over time. Then 10 times here in this position, Rocking back and forward. And then 10 times, squeeze for 10. Up for 10, squeeze for 10. Up for 10, same idea this side. Squeeze for 10, up for 10, squeeze for 10, up for 10, and then bring yourself up into your Cossack squat. And I would always say to do both sides um, as well. And over time, build yourself up to being able to do this easily on both sides and your hips and your groin will really thank you for it and it will make you a lot stronger. Okay guys?